chickies and welcome back to my channel welcome back to another episode of tin in the kitchen for today's cooking video i thought we would make filipino tapa which is essentially jerky tapa originated from the spanish cuisine however the tapa we will be making today is a family recipe that we've been making for years i actually used to make this when i was younger i think when i was around eight or nine years old i really wanted to share it with you guys so in case you guys are new here i would greatly appreciate it if you please subscribe to my channel i would love for you guys to be a part of the chicky crew for this dish you will need a couple of ingredients you'll need a package of beef chuck table salt as well as ground pepper and garlic powder so the trickiest part about this dish would have to be the preparation of the meat so once you have your beef chuck you want to throw this into the freezer let the meat harden then you want to take it out to defrost easiest way how to cut the meat is when it's still a bit hard but you should be able to slice through it divide your chuck into four equal parts you want to then cut thin slices of the meat. When we were first slicing the meat, we were actually using the wrong type of knife. Slice the meat a little bit thicker, so we ended up switching to a different knife and we were able to get the meat quite thin. And this is exactly how you want it to look. You wanna have crispy meat for this dish. So next you want to marinate your meat. So for this, you're going to need some table salt, ground pepper, as well as garlic powder. You want to just distribute this evenly but you don't want to go heavy handed with this. You just want a light sprinkle of all three of these ingredients on the front as well as the back of the meat. Place this inside the fridge overnight so that these ingredients can saturate the meat and you'll be able to really taste all of these flavors the next day. How the meat should look the next day. All of the ingredients have already saturated into the meat and now we're ready to bake the tapa. Preheat your oven to 300 degrees. Put it on a tray with a rack. There are different variations on how to cook tapa, but I'm showing you guys one of the healthiest ways how to cook it since we will be baking it. You can also put it in a turbo or a convection oven. So now you want to place the tapa in the oven for about 30 minutes. Cooking time will vary depending on the oven. So after 30 minutes, you want to check on the meat and you want to turn it around. Here you can kind of see it's browning a bit. So we want to turn it up to about 350 degrees for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you want to flip the meat over again one more time and you can actually turn up the temperature to 390 degrees for another 20 minutes. Now, depending on the thickness of the meat, you can actually turn it up to 400 degrees for another 10 to 15 minutes so that the meat can be extra crispy. And you want it to look similar to this where it almost looks like jerky. Tell that the meat looks like it's crispy. Some may be a little bit chewy, but you don't want to burn it. You also want to let this cool for about 10 to 15 minutes. So our tapa has now cooled and we're going to make a dipping sauce. It's very similar to the dipping sauce that I made in last week's episode. So if you guys haven't seen that episode where I show you guys how to cook Filipino longanisa, I'm going to link it right up here in the card area. But for this, you are just going to need UFC native vinegar, which can be found at the Filipino market. You can also substitute this for regular vinegar. And then what I like to do is I'll just add a bit of pepper. You can also add garlic into this for a bit of that garlic flavor, but I like to eat my tapa just with a bit of vinegar and some pepper. So our tapa is now ready to be served. We have plated it. We have some that are a little bit crispy, some that are not so crispy just because some of the slices were not really thin. Overall, this looks exactly the way how I remembered it as a kid. Mom, do you wanna try a bit? Yes. Some people like to eat tapa with a sunny side egg and that's how they will enjoy it for breakfast or you can even eat this any time of the day. But for us, this is typically how we eat it. Here you go. Thank Try you. some. You're welcome. And then I'm going to just have a couple pieces of tapa. I don't typically eat rice with this or I'll eat it with uh, some sort of vegetable. And then let's put some vinegar on top. Now we're just gonna go right in using our fingers. Just like how I remembered it as a kid. How does it taste, mom? I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. Try actually 
this one is crispy. It's definitely a dish that you guys should try out. There are many different variations, but we absolutely love it at our household. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tin in the Kitchen. If you guys did, please make sure you smash that like button as well as don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Turn on those post notifications to be notified of new videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys check out the videos right over here for last week's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new video. Mwah.